what's going on guys you boys probably 2k7 and we are back for a brand new grand of Pro 5 firefighter mod video and today as you can see we're here in los santos at the davis fire station we're using these amazing los santos volunteer fire skins again and as you can see it is pouring down raining right now guys it is absolutely crazy and actually uh here in new york we had weather like this uh yesterday so that's why i decided to do a video about this and there was also a power a utility pole a power pole that nearly fell on my car in real life it was about two car lengths away from my car luckily I was able to go in and move it out the way it's actually still dangling right now and the wires are still dangling as I'm recording this video it's really crazy but anyway uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump back into fire callouts so there are a bunch of new calls and since we're having all this crazy weather uh, here in New York and even across the whole United States. I know a crazy storm kind of just moved through. I figured we'll do uh, this call here. So let's check it out and see what happens. We have a roadway block on uh, Carson Avenue. Units respond code 2. Alright, so that's right around the corner. They want us to respond code 2. Reports of a fallen tree on the road and block in the road. So for this call, we're going to take the ladder truck. And we'll probably have to use our saw to uh, cut the tree and get the road opened up. It's actually like literally right around the corner. Alright, everybody's in. Let's get going. All the uh, mods that I am using will be linked down below in the video description in case you guys would like to check them out. Oh my god, he's gonna drive it. Let me turn off my lights. I'm sorry, so he doesn't drive into the uh, car or into the train. Did it fall inside? Where is it at? Oh, I see it. It looks like it fell inside of the um, parking lot over there. We'll still, uh, I guess we'll still check it out anyway. Okay, so we're gonna be on scene. This one is it uh too bad here. We go ahead and put on our equipment. Alright, got a chainsaw. Now in the game we really only have this saw, so we kinda use this for everything. It could be used for um cutting trees. It could also be used on other calls for like uh car accidents, we could use it. Um, to cut people out since we don't have a chance of life. So uh, yeah, let's see. How do we do this? Oh. <laughs> we got sparks. I guess this is a metal tree here. I wonder what's going to happen to it. What do you guys think is going to happen? Is it going to break up into pieces? Maybe it'll just disappear? Yep, it disappears. Okay, cool. So we'll let dispatch know uh, we are tonight back in service. Probably the easiest call. Didn't even have to worry about traffic or anything like that. So let's back this truck up and let's get on to the next one. We've got a roadway block in uh, Cypress Flat. Units respond code 2. Alright, okay, looks like I got another tree that fell down. This one looks like it's actually on a road, so let's check this one out. Oh. 
Another thing you gotta be worried about when these trees fall down, sometimes they fall onto power lines and knock out the power lines. And sometimes you have like electrical lines, live lines in the middle of the street. Which is why it's so important for us to respond and make sure everything's okay. Yep, got another tree. Looks like somebody blocked in the uh, left lane here. This, this guy hits my truck. Mm. Really, bro? Let's go! Get out of oh, the fucking my way! Goodness. Let's see if this will make him just. There we go. I was trying to delete him. I guess we gotta put down some phones, huh? So we get direct traffic around the rig. Alright, that should keep them from at least hitting the truck. They're probably gonna still hit the cones, but... At least they won't hit us. I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Alright, we got, oh, sorry. You guys can pick up those cones for me, we'll get the road opened up. For all these impatient people. for and that one we're getting yet another call guys this one is going to be for a house fire i haven't tried this call before so this is going to be new this will be responding code three of course the engine should be responding as well they're they're, they're already at our uh, firehouse so we should be able to meet them there I hate when people do this in real life, like, come on, move it out the way. Somebody's house on fire, we gotta go, man. Actually, going right past the firehouse. Let's see, did the engine leave yet? Ah, it looks like the engine already responded, so they should be on the scene. Conduct a primary search, people may still be inside. Fire truck. 
Looks like we got fire in two different houses here, guys. We're gonna go with the uh, all hands here for a structure fire. I'm still gonna need another engine. Fire truck assistance needed on um, forum drive. Fire truck assistance needed on forum drive. I'm gonna hit this second house here. Hey right, guys, some of the other units are now on scene. So let's go ahead and make our attack. We are uh, tasked with searching this place. The other guys are gonna work on getting that line stretch. Check this first. Oh, shoot. That was first. Alright, this first room looks like it is clear. Just want to make sure nobody's on the sides. Let's continue searching. Oh, this fire be jumping. You gotta be prepared for this one. Kind of ironic that we sprayed the candles, but those would never go out. But we're getting a good push on the fire. Hopefully the exterior team is doing well um, at the fire in the front yard and at the exposure to the house to our right. So far, I don't see anybody in here. So it looks like everybody was able to get out. Whoa, look at this. Nobody be able to get out that way. Well, it looks like the inside primary searches are going to be complete and negative. No fire victims. Let's head back outside. This tree does not want to go out. Oh, there it goes. Alright. So it looks like all the fire here is knocked out. We did have a little bit of fire over here at this exposure. Let's see if we can uh, get to the roof any way possible.
All right, looks like we have the fire is not under control. <laughs> but it looks like after this, we're going to have the fire under control. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Also hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. And let me know what else would you guys like to see me do with the uh, firefighter mod here. I see you guys have really been uh, enjoying it. We got a little bit more fire over here. And these guys are literally just standing in it. <laughs> Gotta love AI sometimes. Sometimes they like, most of the time they put the fire out, but I don't know. Today they just chilling, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, let's do one final check. Make sure there's no more fire. This house over here doesn't have an interior, so we can't go in there. And we are all good. Alright, so that is gonna do it for this one, guys. Again, thank you so much for watching. We get to do some truck work today. Well, really not much truck work. I mean, we did cut some trees, but... It would be cool if we were able to do some more truck work. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.